So here's a quick demo on how to use photo lays within the Grava style software. So I've got a job set up here and I'm going to first uh, import a photo. So I need to make sure I'm clicking on the laser tab and then I can click on the import icon here or you can do control I on the keyboard. Uh, you can also click the drop down from the Gravo Tech logo here and click on import. All right, and I'm going to select uh, one of these photos I have here. This guy here will bring him in. All right, so uh, what I want to do is uh, zoom out here. I can hit the max zoom button and I want to scale this down to fit within my material. All right, and then we'll zoom back in. Um, this image, we're going to uh, take it into photo lays to manipulate it to make it, um, uh, I guess, better suited for the laser. Uh, so we're going to regenerate the image. Um, and and uh, once we get that image generated, then we can size it and, and center it up, do a, you know, position it wherever you want within the file. For now, we're just going to work with this image as is and take it into photo lays. You'll see what I mean here in a, in a minute. Um, so in order to take this into photo lays, what I want to do is make sure I have the photo selected, uh, which when I when you select it, you have the red line around it. And I'm going to go to objects. And then under the bitmap uh, section here, you'll have a little camera and that's photo lays. So when I click on that, that opens up photo lays and it puts the image uh, into um, the preview uh, and the actual image here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, maximize this screen. All right. So first thing is, you know, you can click on the material here that it's going on. There's some uh, gravel tech uh, different types of materials in here if you're working with the with wood, uh, you can select the wood that is most uh, appropriate. Um, for this example, I'll go with just a, uh, I think I went with just a darker aluminum, like if you were doing on anodized aluminum. So I'll select this one and hit check. So that gives me the preview over here. All right, now there's different settings here that we wanna work with um, starting you know, with threshold and we'll go across here uh, to edit the photo and how it's going to turn out on the material. So the threshold we can adjust and this kind of, um, uh, you, you adjust the lights and darks in the photo. All right. Uh, so you can see how that's changing the image. If we want to lighten up the lighter areas on the face. Okay. Um, we can always come back to this once we change some of the other uh, filters. I'll select, um, I think I like the Burks uh, filter here. And then you can adjust the screen setting here as well. Um, so we'll leave it right there. Let's go to the enhancement. This is where um, you can see where you can kind of adjust the softness and the detail in the photo. All right, so we'll bring that down a little bit. And same thing with the strength. Okay, so you go too far, it really softens up the image, but we, we lose some of the detail. So I'm gonna bring it or just a little bit here and then we can uh, play with kind of the the lights and darks so you go the gamma really makes some adjustments if you go little little goes a long way okay Let's go back to the threshold here. There we go, that's looking a little better there. 
maybe just a, if we can get it a little bit lighter. Okay, so as you can see, there's a lot of settings here that you can play with to actually adjust how the image is going to look. So we can brighten it up a little bit with a white setting. Okay, so that's looking fairly decent. All right, now you could go to the text feature here and you could click on this and add text to the photo. Um, uh, I'm not going to do that, but you can do that. There are a couple of options here to add a frame uh, around, uh, and there's some preset uh, decorative frames that you can put around uh, the piece. Um, so you could actually take this, uh, this file and send it straight to the laser. Um, you know, by clicking here, or you could print this out, you know, to provide a proof to your, for your customer. Um, but in this case, I'm just going to hit OK, and this will populate the image that I want uh, from PhotoLays into the job. So you can see this is the, the manipulated or created file from PhotoLays. So I'm going to select my original photo and get it out of the way. So let's select the outer contour and then delete. And then I'll, uh, I can go to my alignment tools here and I can center this up in the middle of the plate. And now basically I could send this file uh, over to the laser. So what we've done is we've basically converted the image into a dot pattern of, you know, uh, on or off, the laser is firing or it's not, um, and it uh, produces a, a much nicer photo uh, in photo lays. That's what photo lays does for you. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, feel free to um, contact us at uh, our tech technical support department, uh, one eight hundred eight four three seven six three seven.